Hey guys, it's NestYT here, and today we're going to be doing our first video here. Um, so if you guys go to any kind of public school or any kind of school that uses Chromebooks, and they block every, they pretty much block every website. Sometimes YouTube, sometimes they don't block it, sometimes they just block certain videos on YouTube, or sometimes they just block certain websites that are not even that bad, like you, you should be able to go on them. So today I'm going to teach you how to go on any website you want without GoGuardian or any other website or anything that the teachers use to see you, it will not work on this. So you can, you can do whatever you want and they cannot see what you're actually doing. So what this is actually called is called, um, what's it called? It's called incognito mode. So as you know, if you press control alt question mark, it'll show all these kind of things. And when you go to control N, it's supposed to be a new window. And sometimes when you do control, oh, control shift N, it actually opens this incognito window. And it's not working. So I'll do it right now. Control shift N. It will not work. And nobody really knows why. It's kind of weird. So what I'm actually going to do is teach you how to get on incognito mode without having to, like, without having to hack into it or, like, do anything, like, illegal or anything like that, which I don't even think is possible on a little Chromebook like this. I mean, you can use Crosh and stuff, but I mean, this will not really work. So what I'm actually going to do is go to, actually, I have a bookmark right here. It's a lot easier when you create a bookmark, but what you type in, you type into the top, the search address bar, and you type Chrome, or Chrome, if I can actually spell correctly, and then you do colon, slash, slash, and then you do inspect, and you can do that, or you can do slash, and then put other. And when you press enter, you want to keep pressing this reload button at the very top of the screen up here. Or if you have a Chromebook that has a reload button on the keyboard, then you can keep pressing that. Press it as fast as you can after you press enter. So watch. Huh. And I don't know what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Chrome slash slash inspect slash other. I'm going to do that. Okay, okay, watch, watch. Okay, so it might say blocked. Watch, hold on. It's going to say blocked by your administrator. So what I'm actually going to do is just press uh, this button up here. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to press this, the go back button. Or you can just do uh, the one on your keyboard if there's one on your keyboard. So you press that and then keep reloading the page. Okay, watch this. See? See it right now? And then you press other and keep reloading the page. So what now what you're going to see is it's going to say the third one down. You can kind of see. Okay, it's not it's not doing anything more, anymore. I don't have to press reload. So what you're going to see is it's going to say uh, chrome dot slash slash o-o-b-e slash lock. And you press inspect. Once you have that, it's going to have this kind of thing. So for some reason, you can't inspect any other thing here. You can't inspect any of this. So you can only inspect a uh, Chrome U Ubi Lock or whatever it's called. And it's going to come with this. What you actually want to do is you're going to go up to the top here, so where you can move it around, right here, and you right-click that, and you go down here, and it's going to say Open Browser Window. Bam. Now you're in incognito. I already had a couple incognito tabs open on here. So, yeah, you can already see all my incognito tabs. So what you're going to want, and now you can go on any website you want. So you can go on, like, you can go on Spotify or whatever. You can go on whatever you want. It's actually really cool how you could do this. So, uh, yeah, you can go on Spotify. You can go on, what, like, you can play any games. You can play any .io game, which is what I really like. You can play Slither.io, whatever you guys want. But it's actually pretty cool, and they can't see you. It says your uh, your activity might still be visit visible to your employer or school, but if your employer or school, um, mine uses GoGuardian, GoGuardian will not work on this. It'll literally see right through it. So if you have another Google tab open, let's just say you have like a Google tab open, or something like that, you can just go control tab. Okay, bam. So you have this open and you have incognito also open. All, they'll see, all they will see is just this. There's nothing else they can see. This is the only thing that they can't see. Incognito, it just sees right past it. It doesn't even say it's on there. And what's even cooler about this 
if you do control H, it'll go to your history. And okay, well, this blocked website, it won't actually tell what like website it is. You can just go on it and it'll be blocked no matter what you do. So they actually won't see anything you do. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Um, oh, uh, also, by the way, I'm using Screencastify. That's why there's probably a little logo at the top right up here. Um, it's because I'm on a Chromebook and I'm not using my actual computer that I use to like edit videos and stuff. I'm only using the Chromebook because I don't want to be really weird and just have a camera doing it. That would just be weird. So yeah, you can do whatever website you want. You can go on any kind of website. The only thing I don't like about the Chromebook that I'm using right now, and well, the not the Chromebook, but any other thing, is that it will not work anywhere else. It will not work like it won't you you won't be able to download it. And the only thing about incognito is if you close your Chromebook and you log off or like you turn off your Chromebook and stuff, this will actually just appear as a regular tab. But that means that you have to go all the way back to the Chrome colon slash slash inspect slash other, that weird website, and you're going to have to do it all over again. But another thing is that if you have um, you have that website open, it will not actually, it, it takes a while for it to pop up. So if I go over here and I go to the inspect with Chrome like that, um, this thing right here might not even be there you might have to wait five ten minutes and sometimes if it's really glitchy you might need to wait for like maybe 45 minutes but it will eventually pop up right here so you just click on this right click at the very top of the website right here and open browser window there you go and you have incognito you can do whatever you want it's pretty cool actually but yeah you can do that and what i do is i always have like at least like two or three tabs open with incognito and it'll have, um, it'll basically be so if I accidentally like exit out of this one, oh no, and then there'll be like at least two more. So that's like a good thing. And then I can just like go like that and make as many tabs as I want. So yeah, and you can have all those tabs. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, you guys should totally come back for some more later on. This is not usually what I'm going to be doing in all my videos. I just wanted to do this because it's actually a really cool thing I found out. Uh, but I'm probably not going to be doing any of these, like, Chromebook videos. or Like, I might be, but I'm probably not, so. <laughs> uh, sorry, I have a really bad cough. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the end of the video. So, I hope you guys like, subscribe, and share to all your friends. It'll be a pretty cool channel once I pretty much get it done with. Um, actually, I can show you guys my intro that I've been working on. Uh, my new intro is going to be this one right here. So, here it is. It's actually going to be pretty good. And that's the intro. So, hope you guys come back for some more later on. Thank you and good.